Morning guys. So it's about 57 degrees, no 53 degrees outside, 59 in here. And it's Sunday morning. And uh, I'm gonna get back on the Camaro here, but I'm gonna fix this hammer first. Uh, it's one of my favorite hammers that I use and you can see here that it's all busted and cracked out and everything. Well, this is another hammer, it's just like it's brand new. And you can see what it's supposed to look like. So I ordered a hammer handle kit, which is a snap-on hammer handle kit, and it comes with the little wedge, and it comes with the two little, you might be able to see those, see those there, it comes with those. So uh, I've not done this before. Yeah, I watched a couple videos on YouTube, uh, and it uh, doesn't look like rocket science. So I'm gonna give her a shot, and uh, I'll kind of take you guys along with me. And uh, it shouldn't take, you know, 10, 15 minutes to do it. So, all right, guys, uh, I'll bring you back when I get this handle out and start start messing with it. See you. All right, guys. So, so this is my understanding of how this is working. And I used to think you would just sit and bang this down until this came down to where you want it. Well, I guess that's not the case on the videos that I've watched. And I watch multiple videos to get different opinions and whatever. But you slide this hammer head on here. You flip this hammer over and you hit this to drive that up on it, which makes no sense, but we're gonna give it a shot. And it is working. like that's about and then they say to take it and make sure that it's not cocked one way or the other uh, or it uh, make sure that it's you know right this way or the other way uh, if it's off one way or the other then you flip it over and you hit it to make it go back the way you want it to go I'm gonna go ahead and hit this a little bit more make sure it's seated on there real good looks pretty straight Yeah, it looks a little bit off that way. Uh, so, let's see if it's off on that side. I put it down on an edge. It's on the edge here. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it on that. I'm gonna have to find something else to put it up against. Let's see. That did it. Yep, there it is. Okay. And all this is another thing. If you guys can't afford ambles, a lot of you guys know this, you can pick up this railroad track. This stuff is hard, hard, hard. I mean, it's as hard as an amble. And you can use it as a dolly. You can use it as all kind of, man, they're awesome to have. I got a long piece of track too. Uh, but yeah, th these things are pretty awesome. Uh, all right, so. Next thing, and it looks like I'm gonna have to uh, reinvent this little, cause it, it comes with a groove in it, but it looks like my groove there, uh, I smashed it solid. So I've got this deal here that I have to put in there next, so I'm gonna have to open this back up. So I'm gonna grab a, uh, probably a small screwdriver or something, kinda open that back up, I'll bring it right back. All right, you can see there, I'm just opening this, my little wedge area back up. Just running me a flathead screwdriver in there, kind of opening that back up. Enough where I can fit that wedge in there. Like I said, I am not an expert at this, first attempt at this, so take it for what it is. If you're gonna do this, uh, watch some of the other videos and people that do it all the time. Just took what they said and I'm doing it. So, all right, so you got your wedge. I think it'll fit in there now. I'm gonna get it lined up good. Here's another thing you don't wanna put it on your table and beat this down or it'll break this wedge, is what they said, which is another thing I didn't know. 
So I've learned a lot just watching a couple videos. So take, take it off the table like this and beat it in. Straighten back up. They said run it in until it, you won't be able to run it all the way down, but they said when it starts cracking like it is right there, they said you're pretty much, you're pretty much done. So, yeah. So now I'll cut this off. And I'll probably just use my little air saw because I don't have like a regular saw. But I'll get me a new blade on my little air saw and just zip that thing off. And then we'll go back in and put these little guys in at, a, at this angle here um, next to each other. So, looks, looks, you know, looks all right. All right, got that sawed off. I, I ended up using this right here. And this is a metal cutting blade, but it's real fine, and I didn't want that. You, the, your wood cutting blades are usually pretty rough, and it, I think it would have ripped that thing up real bad, but I just held it up next to it and ran it like that instead of breaking the air saw out, and it looks like it worked fine. So, all right, so, move this out of the way. So now, We'll run these little bad boys down in here. See if I can do this without smashing the shit out of my fingers. Seems like an awful lot to put two in there, but that's what they did, so that's what we're gonna do. Seemed like I just shattered into that hammer, but I guess it's just pushing it up against it really, really hard. So now we take it, if you have a belt grinder or something like that, you can take it over to your belt grinder and uh, grind all this smooth. I'll probably take a roll lock disc because that's what I have. And uh, I'm gonna clean this up with a roll lock and uh, smooth that out some and I'll bring you back. But yeah, that's what it looks like before. And I'll clean it up a little bit and we'll see what it looks like. I'll bring it right back. All right guys, that worked perfect. Uh, I just used 36 grit on a roll lock and uh, that's the brand new, this, this hammer, uh, <laughs> it's pretty good when I can't tell which one was brand new and which one wasn't. Uh, so this is the one I just polished down versus the brand new one that's never, I've not touched at all. So, I mean, that looks pretty well factory. I think there's something that you can put on this, some kind of sealer, which I don't have. Uh, 
and the guy told me the name of it. I'll have to look it up and I'll probably have to order it. But anyway, you just dab it on here. Some kind of adhesive, almost like glue. And I think it kind of seals this wood up and kind of keeps those uh, wedges from doing any backing out type thing. Just kind of an extra little bit of protection there. But uh, yeah, there it is. Now I've got pretty much two like new hammers. Also, you can clean these faces up too. Uh, take you a little bit of 180 grit or whatever and run it over with the DA. You can clean those faces up when they get all kind of marred up and goofed up and stuff. You can kind of reface those. And I'm not an expert at that either. Some of the guys on the on, on YouTube could probably tell you how to do that better than I can. But uh, anyway, you can clean these and polish these up real good to where they're like glass again, like brand new. So, but uh, yeah, hammers are, you know, that's what we use the most of. So you want to take good care of them and not use them as pry bars and all that kind of stuff and especially if you've got nice hammers like this one here uh, these aren't real cheap so anyway there you go and uh, I don't know if that helped anybody or not but uh, it's pretty easy and uh, that's it I'm back up here on the wall the rest of my goodies uh, I've got several repeat tools, but I just happened to get a good deal on some of these, so that one's a little straighter. Um, I'd actually like to have a few more to add to my collection, some with the long points, and man, you can get crazy with hammers, but uh, anyway, that's it. This hammer here that I used to, uh, that's an old Martin. And uh, I picked that up off eBay. It probably needs a new handle too, but this thing is awesome. I use it all the time for more heavy work. Um, all right.